and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube as well for some Jeskai control to kick off the day. Today we got four sweet looking donation decks. As you can see on the left hand side, I guess it's kind of blurred up a little bit, but we got Jeskai control and then Soul Tide midrange and then um, two uh, other brews. Oh, I didn't put donation deck by Mono Green Mowu, but oh, well, I'll do that here in a little bit. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so we're going to have a nice, fun day of magic today. All right, so let's uh, take a look at our first deck. This is, you know, pretty self-explanatory. We got Jeskai Control. Um, you know, we got Counter Magic with Quench, Mystical Dispute. We got Sweepers, Deafening Clarion, and Time Wipe. We got Card Advantage. Um, I guess Absorb also in the Counter Magic part. We got our Card Advantage with Chemister's Insight, our Removal for Planeswalkers, and any, per you know, I guess only creatures and planeswalkers but removal for planeswalkers with prison realm we got some good good old planeswalkers ourselves with teferi narset and then some um some finishers outlaws merriment which i'm excited to play a deck with a couple of these i've been i didn't expect this card to be very good at all honestly and it's been pleasantly surprising how good this card has been uh, i expected it to just you know, get bounced by Teferi and, and just be too slow and everything like that. But I guess if you're if you're playing a deck that can already draw out the game and play like a really long game, the more turns you can have Merriment and play, the better it's going to be. So I've been I've been pleasantly surprised about how uh, this card really performs over a long game. And then F Finale of Glory, as you all have seen on the channel, we've played a, a good amount of blue white control here recently. Um, and Finale of Glory has just been awesome. I have been really impressed with Finale Glory as a finisher in control deck. So glad we got a couple of those as well. Our mana's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Got a lot of different lands in here. It's looking good. Uh, sideboard, you know, got to get those Ashioks for Golos. Get a bunch of counter spells, um, including Tail's End. Um, more Narsets for more card advantage and everything. And some extra sweepers when we need them. So let's try out some Jeskai Control. Yeah, Kenda, so I have... Um, so, you know, you'll have to let me know if if this, this sounds good um, or if... Uh, let me get the, the exact deck list here. Or, honestly, I, I'll, I'll build a different deck if this isn't good enough for you. But um, the Bant Value deck, I, I was trying to think of, you know, like, what to do with, with Mesmerizing Benthid and... You know, I started with like three copies in it and, you know, when having to like cut down cards and everything went down to one copy. So like there's only one copy of Mesmerizing Benthid in the deck. But, you know, it's a it's a uh, Prime Speaker of Anifar and Neoform deck. So, you know, like trying to work up the chain and everything and Mesmerizing Benthid does a good job there is you know like a five drop that you can you can grab to play some defense you can sacrifice leaves a couple bodies behind and then and then also with the bodies I'm gonna roll again. with the bodies you know pairing it with you know one pairing it with oko you know like oko can turn o twos into into three threes which is really nice but then also getting a harmonious archon in there you know like we could go mesmerizing bent that into harmonious archon and turn those O2s into 3-3s three that way as well. So that, that's what I ended up with with a Mesmerizing Benthid deck, but I only have one copy in it. Okay, cool. So yeah, so, so that's what I was going to play today, and then if you wanted a different deck with, with more copies of Mesmerizing Benthid, I, I could do that for later also. Hey, Storm. Thanks for dropping by. So likely... It's likely that we have uh, Golgari Adventures. Yep. I Obviously, I wish I didn't put the time wipe down at the bottom now. That's just how it goes. Hey, Jetter with the sub. Thank you so much there, Jetter. 
Welcome to the channel. Our very first sub of the day. All right, let's get the Outlaws Merriman in play. Get that thing going. Get that cool animation. So it has like a stick, a bottle, and a knife for the animation there. So yeah, Kenneth, so that's why I came up with Mesmerizing Benthid. So we'll see how it how it plays later on. like ways to use the card but I only have one copy but, oh well I'm excited yeah I think I agree the um, the merriment could be really nice here Okay, even trying to make it work in a janky Azorius control shell. Get rid of the mystical dispute. Hmm. No more wrinkle over there. Oh, that's bad. I would love to get another one of those one-twos. Yeah. That was clutch. That was clutch. Okay, you're playing Time Wipe and then picking Benthid back up. Okay, I like that. Go and just cast this, see if we hit a land drop. Sure did. Yeah, I'll take that removal spell. I don't expect this quench to be doing too much for the rest of the game. We can discard the quench. An insight. This isn't a fight you can win. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. This deck's pretty sweet. Outlaw's Merriment's been awesome. All these counter spells have been awesome. It's not like like my opponent had a really good, like they had a really good hand. Like they went Paradise Druid into Vivian into Questing Beast and and so on. I mean, it wasn't like like their best hands, you know. It wasn't like they drew like millions of cards off Innkeeper or anything. But it was just a good solid hand, and and we handled that pretty easily. Some more sweepers. 
less mystical disputes. So I, I kind of think I should play another Narset or a Disdainful Stroke. I'm having Questing Beast, Vivian, the Great Henge. The Great Henge is kind of a problem. Yeah, so I think I think Disdainful Stroke just kind of does a little bit more than Tails End does. You know, they both, but they both counter Rankle. Like they both basically counter. Like I guess they they counter. I guess they just counter like all the same things. But then Tails End, you could do the counter the activated ability, triggered ability, or legendary spell, I suppose, also. Yeah, maybe it is Narset against card draw. That's true. Keep Innkeeper from drawing cards. I like that. Let's just play a Narset. You just play Disdainful Stroke over Quench. Yeah, we'll see how Quench goes. May, may not do the best. I'm not, I don't love Quench as a card, but it, it's, the thing is, is like, it's a counter spell. It's a two, you know, like it's something we get to play turn two and that it's countering things that my opponent's playing on their turn two, turn three, where like Disdainful Stroke, you know, may not actually counter stuff that they're playing on turn three, you know, if they're going like Love Struck Beast or whatever. But obviously the later we get to the game, the worse Quench gets. I think it's good to counter early drops. But it's true, like later on in the game, Disdainful Stroke is a hard counter spell still. So we need another white source for time wipe. I'm really debating prison realming this innkeeper. I need white mana. Just don't like any of my options, honestly. So they got four cards. Quench 
Quench did look pretty bad, but the Sainful Stroke wouldn't have countered anything either. Of course, I just... Just wasted it. I... Yeah, I mean, I just wasted it anyway. I guess I should have Prison Realmed. Turn... Turn 3. Still, now they have idea. five cards. They had five cards last turn. Played a couple. They still have five cards. Them drawing two, also. I am Scala's vengeance, and I'm coming for you next. Your feed keeps dropping. <laughs> I don't know. Stomping time. Don't make another move. Yeah, I mean, that, that is true, that my opponent is just going to play around Quench game two anyway. Hey, Narnan. Yeah, I'm doing really good. We're going to have a good day of magic today. If I take out to fairies, like I, I don't want to like bounce any of these creatures. Guess they could have like Veil of Summer. Watch out, they bite. Mystical Dispute, yeah, Mystical Dispute costs three mana, though. Hmm. Before action. I was hoping to find a sweeper here. Vivian's tough to beat. Stand by and watch. I've got time. Ah, lucky for me, I like a fight. All right, well, that worked out. This will be fun to watch. Well, yeah, Rev Daddy, that's not a, a place like that. They, they're not gonna. They're not gonna allow anyone to say anything like that. Yeah, we gotta just stay alive here. Just can be difficult against Order of Midnight. We're gonna have to. Yeah, I guess bounce it again. All right, yeah, they can't even play instant, so. Let's just go to combat, kill Vivian. I like the block. We can take out Vivian and Falmire Knight. Not go extinct. 
I'll protect you. Keep an open mind. Okay. Well, I could just prisoner on this Order of Midnight then. I guess that's easy enough. Um. Do I even want time wipe? Rev, come on. You don't. Unnecessary. Hmm. I would have preferred to like have absorb be, you know, like for some some other threat. No, I timed you out for being insulting. You don't need to be insulting in here, Rev Daddy. No, my merriment. That's more like it. I think we're just going to be finale for glorying, finale of glorying here at end step. Yeah. We're just going to do that. So we're going to do this for six. Here goes nothing. Okay. The wild. So we got to stabilize. And there we go. We're 1 0. I I have no idea, Candace. I don't know. I, again, I think we kind of put time wipe back. No, we probably need to keep time wipe. This is a tough. I mean, I guess. Is I'm putting Teferi back? I think I want to keep Outlaw Merriment. And we want to have, like, sweepers. And I want to have the counter spell. That's weird, but I think I'm putting Teferi back. And honestly, maybe I should just lead with. No, I shouldn't lead with Fail Passage either. Because I don't know what color I'm, I'm going to want to grab. Moxie, that's not really helping either. Alright, questing beast. So 
So this is this is difficult, but I you know I think we've got to get the the double white. Hmm. Never mind, that doesn't work. Doesn't make a lot of sense to play Teferi into the Questing Beast. I, mean, I could just play it and cycle it, I guess. I could just, like, play it minus for nothing. Alright, I guess we're just gonna cycle it. Trust me. You'll thank me later. No, I am not making this up as I go. Gotta look for mana for time wipe. Time. Certainly the problem with Questing Beast is it does kind of just force me to time wipe only it. I just don't I don't want to use a time wipe on just it. I'm not sure why it wanted me to auto tap and leave a sacred foundry of sacred foundry available, but obviously we need to keep a blue source available if we want to have a mystical dispute for something. All right, this is good. Looking good. We stabilized, no questing beast follow-up. You know, I was certainly scared of a, a second questing beast. There, that's what I was most scared of. Yeah, main deck, Miskal Dispute did come in pretty clutch. Of course, I'm going to be time wiping this deputy away, so I, I didn't counter it because we're we're just going to be able to time wipe it away again. I would prefer to have like one more land, and we uh, be able to have, and we can have quench available afterwards. But I think I can pass for a turn. Let them play something else.
Okay, well, I didn't get to have Quench available. These Quenches aren't looking so great, though. I kind of wish I drew, like, these four cards that I put down. I kind of wish I had a couple more land drops and chemistry's insights. Like, I would have rather had those than, like, these quenches and stuff. All right, so we already got, like, the finishing card with Merry Mint. I want to just try to have counter magic and, and stuff like that. Hopefully we get the 1-2. They'll just kill the Paradise Druid. That'd be nice. Life Linker. Not bad. Yeah, this looks like uh, the matchup for Disdainful Stroke, Tails End, that kind of stuff. Oh. Fine. That is not fine. Alright, if we're going to draw mana, blue mana is the, the mana that we want. I need one more source to be able to absorb and castle. This is looking good for us. Hmm. I don't know if I necessarily want to, you know, Teferi bounce Wicked Wolf. Definitely regret putting those insights down to the bottom. But we'll get there. We're getting there. Hey, Punish Factory. I don't think I counter just a 3 3. Counters are pretty valuable. Outlaw's Merriment should be able to deal with the 3 3 just fine. Well, this castle's helping us out. All right, now that card's a problem, obviously. Because if they just get a bunch of food, then I'm in trouble.
Yeah, I mean, our, our opponents found a lot of lands also. One, two, three. So three, six, seven, eight. We're two mana away from this finale. If I play Merry Mint, I don't get. I don't have Absorb available if I play Merry Mint. Yeah, that... They're dead. Okay, this deck's doing well so far. Yeah, I got laggy there at the end. Sorry about that. All right, so taking out the quenches. They're gonna be able to pay for those very quickly with all like their mana creatures and everything. Disdainful Stroke, Tails End, this extra Prison Realm, extra Time Wipe. Extra Clarion. And our sets are good too. All right, obviously we're not playing all these, but all right. So these are the definitely the the cards I'm interested in. If, like <clears throat> if they keep all the Deputy of Detentions in, Finale of Glory isn't as valuable. Yeah, I like I like Terminal Clarion here. <clears throat> we'll just play the one Narset. And Narset's great against Krasis. <clears throat> That's really where it's it's best at. Um they're gonna have a ton of counter magic here after board. I think I think Teferi is is good because of all the counter magic they could have, but I guess it is kinda bad against Questing Beast. We can trim one. Maybe trim one finale of glory. He's just at 62. All right, we're running out of time. It's about to stop. <clears throat> I just took out one disdainful stroke, one mystical dispute. Mystical Dispute just because the games can go really late, but obviously Mystical Dispute is like our only way to deal like counter Oko immediately. Plus they're gonna have like Veil of Summers and a bunch of counter magic. So Teferi has a good role. Oh wait, now Castle's gonna Oh no, it's Castle doesn't enter tap to no one. Obviously, if they have Oko with Veil of Summer, that's a huge problem for me. It's 
So I could have played Castle to have Mystical Dispute up. Like the full value of it. So they're playing around Quench. I think I need to just dig and like not spend mana to dig, but dig for something that deals with another questing beast better than that does. <laughs> Battle of the band. That wicked wolf out of here. Hey, what's up, Pruger? Thanks for that. Tier one sub. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah, I, I must have missed one. Macaroni cake? Oh, I'm sorry, macaroni cake. I missed your sub. My, my bad. I forgot to label it. I put the hypos out and everything. I forgot to label it. Could Mirror Maid be viable with Outlaws of Merriment? Um, in a deck that's like a lot more focused on those cards and everything, yeah, you... you yeah, but um, not like really in this deck. I don't think like you have enough targets with just like Prison Realm and, and um, Outlaws Merriment. But yeah, that that could that could be a you know a different kind of Jeskai deck that's built around the enchantments and everything. Fortunately, I couldn't quite get Narset in in time. I like seeing the absorb, but I don't love that we put another absorb to the bottom. That's just kind of how it is.
So obviously they'll save their Wicked Wolf and they'll make another treasure. Meditate and prepare. Try this. So they didn't make another food, surprisingly enough. I just have one red source, but that's really all we need. I know my responsibility. I've got it. I'm not countering Wicked Wolf. countering that thing. That's disconcerting that that's the first card they play and they shocked in. Something they want to play for six? Is it like Krasis or something? I mean, because Krasis we have Narset. Knight of Autumn. That's really bad. Really bad. Hey, that was uncalled for. Mm, I wish I could block questing beast with a one one. I'll protect you. So we get to Castle and Clarion, both. Now what? I won't forget our time together. Oh gosh, finale. Cast finale, play it for six. They eat one of them with the wolf. Yeah, so like I could so then I can lifelink five two twos and gain ten life, but they block one and then like how do I really get out of it from there? I just gain ten life. And really like I have to I have to block one of these things, so it's really gaining eight life. Like if if I only attack with four two twos and they block one, so it's really only gaining eight life. Yeah, I understand. If I just use the lifelink with the the finale, I'll have four creatures. And they'll be able to eat two of them with the other two. Like, that That honestly, that plan's not going to work. So I'm going to use this here, because otherwise the Knight of Autumn's lethal. Because even though I can make six creatures, one dies to the Wicked Wolf. One has to block Knight of Autumn to keep me from dying there. And then, so then I only have four if I just go like with the life link.
And then, you know, they block with Questing Beast and block with Wicked Wolf. So then I only have two left after gaining eight life. And I still don't have anything to do with the Questing Beast. You know, can't, can't kill that thing. So they cast this here to, um, even though it's gained life, to make it so I can't use the insight. And they kept a card on top, which isn't a good sign for me. We are just staying alive, just barely. But they kept that card on top, so. Looks like the the card that we've definitely struggled with more than any other card by a mile has been Questing Beast. I have four time wipes in the deck. We haven't seen one yet. Yeah, so we've drawn 27 cards, and we know the bottom two are not time wipe. Bleh. I guess Nissa. Yeah, we've we've countered Oko every single time my opponents tried to play Oko. Last game in this game, we've countered Oko, but questing beasts we've really struggled with. Hey, what's up, Smug? Thank you there. All right, so finally a time wipe. Obviously, they can have a lot of things to kill us. You know, Nyssa, Questing Beast, anything like that. All right, but we get to be on the play this time. Obviously, Night of Autumn is a huge problem. What would you want to take out for a fourth disdainful stroke and fourth dispute? I think Tails Ends are awesome, you know, like counter like the Crisis ability, the Knight of Autumn ability. This finale of glories haven't looked good. I mean I guess we could take out the finale of glory. I think Clarion's pretty important against an Oko Nissa deck. But I mean I guess we can cut one. I don't know, the finale is just nice to have to like end games like whenever we we're actually ahead. Oh, thanks, QQ. There's there's an extra 
bonus right now. Awesome. Uh, my computer is going slow. All right, I'm, I'm in there. Yeah, let's get rid of one inside to get a second Narset in here because of Krasis. Yeah, I did see Constructed Brawl is coming next week. And then I saw that, that they said they're just going to do it only on Wednesdays. Like, they're only going to have a queue for Brawl on Wednesdays. And that is really baffling to me. I don't understand why you would limit people to only to playing a format only one day during the week. Like, say, you know, no matter what your schedule is, you know, like, you can only play Brawl on Wednesdays. Like, what if, what if somebody, like, really likes Brawl and... You know, like their work schedule is really busy on Wednesdays. It's just, well, too bad for you. Yeah, it's open for direct challenge, but that... You know, you'd have to, like, find somebody to direct challenge with. Just just have it available. I don't, I don't understand what they're doing. Obviously, if they have Oko, that doesn't work out too well for us. Very nice. <clears throat> but I thought that was, like, the best choice of, like, you know, like, limiting their mana so they can't play, you know, a, a big threat plus have, like, Veil of Summer because, you know, like, they have, like, this extra mana and everything. Oh wow, they do not have any other lands. No Vela Summer for you. Well, if I just make four creatures this turn, four two twos. Gonna do that. Sure, they could, you know, play a questing beast. I prison realm it, and then have absorb available like next turn. Wicked wolf wouldn't be as good for me. You know, if it's like crisis, prison realming a crisis is nice because you know it doesn't matter if they destroy it. This is certainly annoying. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Behold, nature's true power. I 
Well, that didn't go very well for me. Uh, especially with... They didn't go well for me, especially with, um, you know, drawing a time wipe. And then obviously now I don't want to use the time wipe. I don't need to do this. Sorcery speed. Uh... Like, Teferi would be, like, the thing that I could draw. Like, Teferi bounce the forest. But then I don't have Absorb available anymore. I'll just pass. I'm, you know, just going to be dis discarding this time wipe. Playing Ether Gust against me? Expect me to have like red and green stuff? I guess I have this Outlaw's Merriment. That and Clarion. It's time to start attacking. Go, Castle, go. I just wait a few turns instead of discarding the time wipe. Well, because I'm just never, I'm not, I'm most likely not going to be casting this time wipe at all with these two twos. So just might as well discard it. You know, we have we have other time wipes and everything. Like, you know, we've got to discard something to draw two. I, basically, I would, I would much rather have two random cards and basically dig two cards deeper into the deck than have that time wipe that you know, may be useful in, like, four turns. Basically. GG. Yeah, we did good against Simic Food, so yeah, that's, that's a good that's a good, uh, showing for Jess Guy here. All the counter spells were quite good. Play first. So obviously I need blue mana in play. So leading with temple. struggles with that. I'm going to just go ahead and, and shuffle and um, get a, you know, get Island with the Fable Passage here. Because also, like, leading with with Temple, when we're turn one and we don't even know what our opponent's playing, like, what, what are we, like, scrying for? Like, we have lands, we have spells, like, 
whatever our draw step is could, could kind of be, you know, it's it's like a, it's really hard to know like what we're supposed to have against our opponent, what we're supposed to look for. So I don't love playing Temple turn one to just like make your opening hand look a little better. So do we want to uh... Yeah, the mystical disputes have really been helping out against all these Okos everywhere. This is the problem with, with having, you know, like the planeswalkers in counter magic though, you know, like I would love to yeah, love to keep the counter magic available, but all right. So they have a wicked wolf and a random card. I don't care to counter the wicked wolf. It's basically, if I lead with one of these and their random card is, it's like questing beast. That'd be really annoying. The focus, and I have just the trick for this. Please don't have Questing Beast. You will feel the lick of <laughs> Put thoughtfulness before action. Restraint. All right, so for land. I've got time. Ugh, not tap land. <laughs> so yeah, they can take up Sarkin and take out one of these. Coming. Then we're gonna need to prison realm the Sarkin. We will meet again. Human. Hopefully, we draw a land and we can have prison realm plus absorb. Yay. Would a Jeskai Walker deck work with Rule of Law? Is the question. And it, I mean, it could. You know, you'd want to build around it. I'm not sure if it's if it'd be necessary though. I don't think it, I don't know if it would like improve anything by playing that. I don't think that's that's going to mean they're going to just go land Oko. All right, good. They just keep on drawing threat after threat after threat. It's just all mythics. Draw some lands. Help me out. I'm. Ugh. I've only seen land for the ne for the last tons of turns.
Yeah, I think this deck would stand a chance in best of one. Depends on, you know, like, you know, you have all the, you probably want like an extra Clarion. Probably want to go like the four Clarion in best of one, but having all the, the counter magic and everything is a good spot to be. Not even killing Narset. Interesting. Six lands in a row for us, though. So it's a game you're interested. Yeah, I like I like these I like this kind of Jeskai deck with counter magic a lot more than Fires of Invention. I think Fires is kind of too slow and and everything. I think the counter magic is is really well positioned. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Yeah, it's just all. It's just all lands. So I could keep a land in hand for Chemistry's Insight. We're going to need to find another prison realm for this Oko. I'm not going to be able to ever attack it again now. It's too late for that. My opponent's just drawing great cards after great cards after great cards over here. Ugh, we've drawn an extra four lands. Fear your truth. Just one chemistry is in sight. Welcome to the feast. Blah. Well, this is an unfortunate game. Surely you must be famished. This is a really unfortunate game. Ooh, 
I feel so alive. Clarion doesn't stop these things in Wicked Wolf. And um, the Hellkite, you know, like with all the mana for activated abilities and everything, would go pretty bad for me. I'll just say the Quench has been consistently the worst card in the deck. It's just, it's just not very good. Especially for how we're trying to play like a, a longer game. Yes. One to fairy, one dispute, another clarion. I suppose I just shouldn't play any clarions here. I'm going to put the other dispute in. Yeah, Quench can be can definitely be good at game one. Don't know what you're playing against. You want something to counter on turn two. Shahar mana doesn't allow for essence capture. All right, we got 26 land. So temple... Got to find land for us. Yeah, I could see playing like negates and vetoes. Hey, Moses. Thank you so much. So yeah, like other options would be like negate, veto, disdainful stroke. Honestly, Tails End. We had Tails End in the main deck of that mono blue deck and... It felt pretty good. We'll have double merriment, you know, turn turn four merriment, turn five merriment, and just <laughs> kind of pray that a couple merriments can take over. Um, I can get island, yes, because then with island we can still cast merriment with the steam vents being red. I'm still behind one on the sub count. Man, I'm I'm sorry. No, it's okay. You can bug me with that. I don't know why I've been so behind on that today, but I guess I have been. So, like, these decks usually play a whole lot of Disdainful Strokes, and so I, I think it's really likely that my opponent has Disdainful Stroke here. So I could just not play Merriment and, and you know, hold up Absorb. But it's also a good chance that they're just, you know, like, going to be making a food. I'm going to play the Merriment.
Didn't make a food. Double merriment. Because they're certainly like, it looks like they're setting up to like play a threat and have a counter, counter spell kind of thing. Now, obviously, if we hit, if they both hit the one two that does one damage, we get to start mowing down geese. That could be really, really nice. That's one of them. Did the other one do it? What's the other one? I don't know what the other one is. It looks like a cleric or something. It looks like the other one's a cleric, maybe. It says CL right there. So yeah, it was the cleric. Um, Yeah, so that's kind of like the the hope is that these two merriments are just going to take over the game. They're sitting there with their veil of summer. <laughs> nice veil of summer. It did absolutely nothing. All right, so now, you know, I have my shields down for one turn. There we go. But then after that, we'll have Absorb Disdainful Stroke. So yeah, just dropping double merriment, not worrying about Veil of Summer and everything like that. Worked out pretty well. I think I'm going to get the fourth Teferi in here, drop a Narset. Have the fourth Teferi instead. Yeah, I I can I would have been able to tell what the two are, because um, I think you put them both onto the stack and it gets puts like the random one on the stack. I don't know. I, I clicked OK, you know, like it had the two triggers. I think the next time I was hoping that we got another turn and so we could see it again. But I think I could have looked to see what the two were. Uh, so I have I have a. Counterspell on two for Oko, but if they have if they have turn two Oko, I cannot counter turn two Oko. Like do I do I just have to mulligan if we don't have mystical dispute? Like they they kept their hand so fast. Like I don't even know if my hand came up yet and they had already kept theirs. Does that mean I just have to mulligan? If I don't have Mystical Dispute, because I have to have a counter spell on turn one. I still don't have a counter spell on turn one. I 
Do I go to five? <laughs> Ugh, I don't think I go to five. I tried. I tried going for Mystical Dispute. Yay. Got rewarded. Because the other hand, I was going to really struggle with playing Mystical Speed on turn one anyway. Yeah, they just always have Oko on turn two. Alright, well, they cannot have they cannot have four mana now after using that that so we don't need to like worry about having disdainful stroke available I feel like a little merriment is in order the next batch of dual lands they print. What would you think about a surveil dual land that comes into play tapped unless you graveyard? So if you put the card in your graveyard, your land comes into play untapped? That's just that's just too powerful. I mean, surveilling is is generally more powerful than scrying. I think that if it was just, I mean, honestly, honestly, just making it, just making a surveil land is is very, you know, a tap surveil land is is very powerful. That's that's better than a scry land, in general. So, yeah, I mean, I I don't think you'd, I think it'd be too too good of a land if you make it so it could come into play untapped if you get you know if you get rid of a card and your land comes into play untapped that's too good Try this. These outlaw merriments have been really good. What makes surveil powerful more powerful than scry? Um, getting rid of a card from your library. In general, is is better, you know. Just you know, basically removing it from your library so you, you'll never draw it ever is generally better than putting it down to the bottom, where you could draw it again with shuffle effects. Um, also, there's a lot. So that's that's one, and then two. There's a lot of cards that care about. Um, there's just a lot of cards that care about cards in graveyard, and so just all of the different synergies that you have with cards that that care about how many cards you have in your graveyard for different reasons. There's a lot of synergy there. Yes, yeah, so the, like there's just a lot of ways to like use 
use the graveyard as like another zone to gain advantage with. So Tails End does not counter Hellkite, but it counters just a boot everything else. Does not counter Wicked Wolford or Hellkite. Oh. I was just going to say that it's not very likely they're going to have Wicked Wolf in their deck, though. But I guess they do. That's more like it. So we'll block the Wicked Wolf here, and then I can bounce it next turn. Finale. And a good thing about showing all these counter spells. Opponent's like, but I, I don't want to play anything into your counter magic. And you're like, cool. I'll just put lethal out there. All right, we're three and O. Oh. So yeah, we beat Simic Ramp, Teamer Walkers. This deck's performing well. Mystical Dispute has been an all-star for sure. Having four of them in the main deck. Counter all these turn two walkers that everybody's doing. Turn two Oko. So I'm working, working well. The opponent scoops it up. <laughs> We've countered six Okos. Uh, just another day in the office, just countering Okos. Oko's not as good if it doesn't reach the battlefield. Yep. Yeah, like, yeah, I really like uh, Deafening Clarions. Yeah, the extra Clarion, extra Time Wipe will be beneficial here for sure. That's certainly my kind of matchup, or my kind of deck that my opponent's playing. Well, that's rude. That's pretty rude. Knight's Charge. I can try out some Knight's Charge. Yeah, I think I think somebody said that in the Discord channel too. Oh yeah, yeah, I love drill bit right now. I mean, I I think playing main deck drill bits is um is a good idea. Looks like again we have 
thought seize bug you know like they they try to discard a card and then the then mtg uh mtga just puts that card right on top it's just that's just how it happens hey darwinian Yeah, I have a second blue. It's gonna be the Fable Passage will be another blue source. This will keep them from being able to just pick up the gutter bones this turn. So that's five, six, seven. I guess it's six. Even if they have a one drop, we don't, you know, they have eight damage with a one drop. It's a good chance we're going to die, but we're not dead yet. If they have, if they have nothing, we're going to be fine, basically. They can put us down to, to one. They don't really need the one drop. They can put us down to what? Whoa. Not activating Knight. Gonna activate Castle instead. Well, now we're pretty dead. Drill bit's awesome. That card's really good. Yeah, drill bit like MVP for my opponent. Get the thumbnails ready to go. That's lethal. Puts us down to four. The attack puts us down to three. Priest activated puts us down to one. They get to grab gutter bones, replay it, puts me down to zero. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be really relying on Clarion.
So Tails End can, ca can counter a Yara, Rankle, can counter abilities of like Priest, Knight of the Ebon Legion's ability. Ashiok could exile Gutter Bones. A dead gutter bones. Yeah, sit it all if they have that. Don't think it's worth it still, but it can it can do some things. I don't think it's worth it. The uh, whenever you draft, you're drafting like with just bots you know, like you basically you, you get you know you get random packs kind of thing but the actual games are being played by regular people like anytime you play a game you're playing against a person you're not playing against a bot for playing a game the drafting portion is just done by ai though what are your thoughts on having a giant board wipe instead of time wipe Um, there's not really a reason not to, I suppose. Like, the first giant board wipe's probably better than the fourth time wipe. You get to dodge duress, negate. No, I, mean, I guess it doesn't dodge those things. I mean, dodge dodges duress, of course, but it doesn't dodge negate. Or veto. Yeah, I guess there are there are some giants that people play that, that wouldn't get killed. That is true. Like the like, especially the red giant. <clears throat> We're not picking anything up with time wipe, but I mean time wipe's just reliable. I like it. Sure, you don't get you know like the seven seven on the other end, but it's reliable. Any more blue mana? No, Love Struck Beast is a beast. Not a giant. That is true. Time wipe you get to grab with Narset. That's a good point. Good point. No, what do you mean? The only non AI is ranked play? No, there. This might be a bad idea. All, all of the play that you do is not against AI. Like, you're not playing ever against AI. You never play against AI. Except for if you play against Sparky, I guess. Only time will tell. Would it, you know, really would have preferred to have that instant speed, of course. So this thing's a four or five. Knight of the Ebon Legion, pretty good. 
Where's our blue mana? Your question was, any of the modes you pay for is against AI, though, right? No, there, no, there's, there's no AI that you play against. The only part is just the the drafting portion of, like, whenever you draft, you're not drafting against regular people, but it's not really against. Like, like against is the wrong word. You're not drafting with regular people. That's a better word. There's not other drafters at the draft table. Kind of thing. That would have been really nice to absorb that card. You know, they'll they'll definitely do the sacrifice, trade their 1-1 one, one for my 2-2. Two, two. Hey, Lou. All right, I wanted to do that main phase in case we, you know, so like we could hit land drop, play another land, but honestly, like maybe playing that main phase is bad against more discard, but it's okay. This quench is not going to do anything ever. I'm planning on discarding the quench. Yay, more blue mana. We got two blue left. Yeah, I'll be I'll be just just discarding this quench to the insight. It's not gonna do anything. What are you doing to me, auto tap? All right, Merry Mint. Yay. Yeah, good call there, Layrit. Good call. No, there's not really a mode I would suggest not playing. No. All the modes are magic. They're all very good. So no, th there's not any in particular that I'd say that you shouldn't play. We did see Rankle. I'm going to take out a quench and put an insight back in.
and they have to put in the two disdainfuls. I mean, they they just don't have very many targets. Yeah, they have spawn of mayhem and and rankle, just not very many targets. I think that <clears throat> Quench trying to slow them down early and you know if they if they see disdainful stroke early, you know like they have all this discard, and so disdainful stroke is a card that's really easy to play around with all the discard. We do a really good job of drawing the one basic mountain. No, Spawn of Mayhem's not legendary. Oh yeah, like the... My opponent has really good... Yeah, like the discard is really good. So like... Basically, I want to keep a hand like this where we have a lot of lands where we can top deck. Because like we're going to have to top deck well. Because my my our hands are just the hands are just going to get ripped apart by discard. So like trying to like mulligan into like a hand with a with good spells is just not worth worthwhile. The only thing I don't like about my hand is I don't have double white. That's the only thing I don't like about my hand. But it's not not going to be something I'm going to mulligan. If that was a white land, I would consider keeping it. But it's not. Yeah, because I'm sure they have they have like four duress, four drill bit. Like they're they're gonna be destroying. My hand and everything. Little surprised. Hmm. If they discard like this other Narset, I want to back up. A little surprised they didn't take Prison Realm, to be honest. Ah, we got the backup. <clears throat> Narsa does keep them from drawing an extra card if that's what they're trying to do. I know they didn't see the Tranquil Cove, but I have four lands down at the bottom of the library. I don't want to use this Fable Passage at all. I know all four bottom cards are all lands, and obviously we do not need more lands. So I'm, I'm not really planning on playing this Fable Passage unless we have to. That That is that is a good four cards that, to have at the bottom in this scenario. Do the draw card. Draw a card. Draw a card. Yay. Thank you. I mean, I guess it does mean that I'm dead next turn. Hmm. Card. I have just the trick for this. Yeah, drill bit's awesome.
Obviously, we need Clarion. Go to two or shuffle? Going to two is really rough. I guess I have to shuffle. You know, I don't want to. That's a bunch of garbage down there that I don't care to draw. There's like, you know, like two cards down there that I don't mind having. Cali Commuter. Thanks for Kurt converting the sub. Get on that tier one sub. All right, so they get to draw two more. We'll draw one more, I guess. Mm, this is tough. You know, Absorb is awesome. So is Chemistry's Insight. It's, you know, either Insight or Absorb. I guess we just take the draw three over the one really awesome card. But, like, Absorb, you know, like, is, is really precious in this scenario. What am I doing? Let's just activate this castle. We'll make a 1 1 with castle to block and then still have absorb. Yeah, that was a clutch castle right there. Clutch Castle. Hmm. So I can just keep making blockers for the Knight of the Ebon Legion with Castle. Where, like, if I use Absorb now, if they draw, like, another Wrinkle. I've already played two Wrinkles. See, we fine, we fine. Usually, you know, usually I just keep playing in tap lands, but I'm playing this, that basic so I can make a 1-1 and insight. All right, GG's. We got there. Jessica Control's feeling really good. Yeah. That's that's what I'm thinking. Like they they have like maybe one more rankle at you know maybe, kind of thing, maybe one more. All right. Yep. Final boss. Final boss time. It's been a couple hours. I I feel like we need to reset arena though. Also. I'm gonna do that real quick. It's been um, acting up a little bit here. Oh, I meant to go through and add some more to the final boss playlist for like your y'all suggestions for it. Hey, Lemon on Rye, yeah, perfect time tuning in right before final boss, and we have an extra life. Being four zero. No, of course not. No ceilings. We we have uh, Outlaws Merriment has been a really good win condition and then and then uh, Finale of Glory. 
But yeah, it's, we can kill people really quickly with Finale of Glory. You can't see the deck list on Stream Decker. Wish Stream Decker worked better than it did. Than it does. I meant to say. I'm sorry, Vexel. It's it's right there. But if it's not loading, I can't really do anything about that. All right, so Gruel Adventures. So we played against, or sorry, we played this deck yesterday. The more aggressive version of Golgari. Oh, they're going Jund. They're going Jund. Don't even care about my Narset. Put thoughtfulness before action. Still don't care about Narset? That's surprising. The boss is going in for the kill. Five mana. It's kind of like a rough scry, because honestly, anything... Basically, I'm fine with drawing anything there. So yeah, they can't attack with this beast right now until unless they play another 1-1. One, one. But just showing our opponent the time wipe. So yeah, I was able just to, to chump block the Questing Beast and then use Prison Realm on it. Still be able to keep up Absorb for something else. So 
So we're halfway to Finale of Glory. We got Finale for five this turn. Or like, you know, halfway to a huge Finale of Glory. Well, I ended up playing pretty terribly against Liliana, I suppose. That was just a bad absorb. I suppose that was a bad absorb. A nice combo with Witch's Oven, Liliana being able to sack the tokens to draw cards. Of course, they can't really do that during their turn because the Snar set they never got rid of. So trading during their turn is good for me. Yeah, we have we have three Teferis. We have two more prison realms. Rise and shine. Oh yeah, so it just says random random. So yeah, we shouldn't be able to tell what they are, but you can you can tell. We wanted to make one twos that could ping Liliana to keep Liliana from ultimating. Ideally. I think I should just finale for seven. It's either Finale or Activate Castle and Dig. Yeah, it's probably better to play this thing. We have another Finale. We'll, we'll, we'll find it. Better not play Legion's End. Yeah, won't lie. I'm, a pretty great I'm really glad they did not get rid of my Narset. Nothing to minus. I could have very easily gotten rid of my Narset twice. Wow. That was not a good play. That was not a good play. Unless they have like Ritual of Soot or something like that. They were a lousy servant anyway. Never mind. Never mind, that was a good play. Never mind. That was a good play. Remember this one? I don't know how I want a sideboard. This 
this is 63. 62. 60. Hey. Thanks for the Terminator cheer with the bonus. So what's what's the deal with the bonuses? Do do all the do all cheers just have 10% bonus right now tacked on? Oh, okay, you have to use Terminator. So, okay, so if you if you cheer with Terminator, you get ten percent bonus. That's cool. Yeah, that is really sweet. That's awesome. Blacker Lotus. <clears throat> yeah, I like opponent's deck. Opponent's got a pretty unique Jund deck here. Definitely like cards I wasn't really expecting. For sure there. Guess it's time to Clarion. Guess it's time to Clarion. We still got Disdainful Stroke available. So yeah, fifth mana was pretty clutch there. If we would have drawn sixth mana, I would have gone Merriment with Disdainful Stroke, but since we didn't, we'll just have Disdainful Stroke available and be able to Insight. No more attacking for the beast.
Chandra's pretty awesome with Love Truck Beast. You know, making 1-1s. One Hope the Love Struck Beast attack. That's pretty cool. Don't worry. I got this. Um I kind of feel like just having uh, time wipe available instant speed. I guess I could have played island. That wouldn't work. No? Too bad. Don't worry. I brought company. Third Chandra. Third Chandra is unfortunate. I have a plan. Chandra's very good at, at killing Teferi. Don't worry. I brought company. Do you want me to phase you out of time? That's a problem. Got to find another prison realm, take out this Chandra. So three, six. So I can just counter Chandra's zero ability. Saves four life. I don't know. We only saw one heart fire last game. Alright, so I don't have my disdainful stroke up now. Consider this bridge. But Chandra's out of here. So I hope they don't have Liliana this turn. Yeah, this is a pretty interesting gun list my opponent's playing over here. There is Corvold. Awesome animation. Now what? What's a Heck of a turn for my opponent. <laughs> Thanks, Yellow. I have reached my limit.
Time wipe. Time wipe. Clarion. We're not dead. We're almost dead, though. Toy. We need to draw a time wipe or prison realm. Even to fairy. We died. Final boss. Got us first time. Hey, thanks, Sandaris. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. We're going to just go ahead and go back to our normal playlist. Instead of going through the whole final boss playlist again. Zendaris with the cheers. So didn't get the 5-0. I was really hoping to win that one with, <laughs> I mean, nothing against our deck, but it just takes, like, these games just take so long. I was really hoping to, to finish with the 5-0 to have, um, to have the ability, you know, like, go, you know, to move on the being, you know, going towards three hours now. So I want the the basic land to be that we're gonna fable passage. I want it to be an island. So I'm just gonna pay another two life here to get the merriment in play. All right, now I can activate castle. Yeah, hopefully, like, Merry Men help cl close the game out. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we just lost to a Gruel deck. So now we get our revenge.
Attack! All right, we're up at 17. With them having three cards in hand. And me having a merriment in play. No, no, Lotus, I can't. Uh, these donation decks are all on a, a schedule. I can't switch them, switch them around. Sorry. Oh, we no, I was saying that we lost to the Jun deck, which is you know it's Gruel Splash, or you know, well I guess it was. Yeah, so it wasn't exactly Gruel, but it was Jund. So they have double activate Hellkite here, so I'm, I'd be surprised if we actually get to do damage with the 2-1. Yep. I think I'm going to play the Tranquil Cove. I mean, obviously I could scry with Temple, but we're already going to scry too. So I think the temple is probably more valuable when we're going to be using our our mana for something else. I'm just going to play the Tranquil Cove. Yeah, I mean, that's a good card anyway. We have 26 lands in the deck. <laughs> yeah, this is, see, like, this is, yeah, this is good magic. You know, control deck versus creatures. I guess I could have seen four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I didn't think we were ready for that yet. You know, it's not really used to playing the temple. You can only do nine next turn, though. But obviously, we, we just get to chump block here for a little bit. I'm taking the Spellbreaker because it has Trample. And this doesn't have Trample. So I guess this is a good time I haven't all league. Talk about... That's annoying. It's quite annoying. Talk about brand new Patreon if you're enjoying the stream. Or liking the YouTube videos or anything. Check out the Patreon page. Um, hope you all sign up there. I would quite appreciate it.
It's three dollars a month. Going to have just you know written like blog posts and stuff like that on there, and sideboard guides and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going a little risky here. I'll admit we're we're going a little risky. You know, we got our two chump blockers. Just want our opponent to like you know draw a land here, hopefully. And then we can go for 10 next turn for this finale. Yeah, I have to shock for that though. So we will go down to three, which obviously means they could have some kind of burn spell that would kill me. I hope not. I could also just Clarion this turn, and then next turn finale for glory, finale of glory for ten, and I don't have to, I don't have to shock, so I don't have to go down to three. So it forces them to have like five damage worth of stuff. No, Hellkite can't kill us because we're gonna have a million four fours. Like their creatures won't be able to kill us at three. They'd have to have three direct damage. I'm gonna just keep finale. That helps. Good old lifelinker. You can stay at five. Okay. That was quite a finale. I don't know, Quench was pretty important there. I don't need all of these. Just ample strokes, maybe like two. I'm probably bringing in more targets for just ample stroke to hit, though. All right, let's go with this. Yeah, that is pretty cool watching all those tokens come into play. That is pretty sweet there. So we got turn three Clarion. Yep, there you go. <laughs> a lot of people are ready to help you. I was about ready to type that in too. Yep, there's the deck list there though. The Beast. Man, they get Teferi. I put Teferi on the bottom. Just had back to back Teferis. Let's 
slow this down. I probably don't need to say why them having a Teferi is very bad for me. That's I think you can like probably it. figure it out. It's very, very bad for me. But yeah, that's that's a good robber of the rich there. Like that robber of the rich is probably just gonna win my opponent the game. If it was, you know, like some other two drop, I wouldn't have really cared about it. Like I would have had you know, hold, held up absorb here and everything. I put the other one on the bottom, right? Okay, yeah. Just, just double checking. Yeah, I feel like I need to play more Robber the Rich in general. Like my my opponent mulliganed here, you know, so they have less cards. It just makes your mulligan better. Let's try this. Nope, not you. You. <laughs> Thiefus and uh, the thing Thiefus Andy needed was to cost go. less mana and have haste. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Lotus, why do you where why do you think I just punted? So I'd like to cast Chemister's Insight, but if I cast Chemister's Insight, I have to, you know, I have to discard twice because we have a full hand. So like I would, I would normally like ditch the absorb. Thanks, Dreadnoughts. Ow. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, you for, yeah, I have to, have to sorcery speed in, inside, of course, because it's a fairy. It's unfortunate, but it's life. That's a fairy. My opponent getting that to fairy was really, really bad for me. I've got time. protect you oh I've done the hero thing before uh, so we got six looks like six to me They should, they should have like a button that says like all of it. Yeah, Candice, absolutely, absolutely. I may do, may do your other list fourth, depending on if I can get a thumbnail for it. We did it. We stabilized. If 
my opponent drew really bad. Is what it, it looks like. I just have a two turn clock. I don't need to play anything. We just hold up our counters. And that's it. Okay, five and one. <clears throat> All right, so really good showing there for Just Guy Control. Our deck performed really well. Like uh, a few things about it: Mystical Dispute in the main. While it didn't do, while it wasn't like perfect against all the decks. It was it was perfect against the Oko decks that people are playing. You know, like we played against a couple different Oko decks, and they had a lot of turn two Okos. You know, like we saw a lot of those, the turn two planeswalkers, and we needed the mystical disputes for them. You know, like multiple times on the draw. You know, start with a shock land counter um, immediately with mystical dispute. Um, you're welcome, excerpts. Um, the opponent got Teferi because of Robber the Rich. Um, so yeah, I really liked that. Absorb was amazing. Like, the counter magic was really good. Outlaw's Merriment was very impressive as well. You know, like, Merriment and Finale are two really good cards. I like both of those cards, and I like the counter magic. Prison Realm was incredible. Like, basically, like, always wanted for Prison Realm. Basically, everything's good about the deck except for, except for Quench. Like, literally everything else in the deck was was really good, and I really liked everything in the deck here, except for Quench. But honestly, there's probably just not a better option. Because, you know, like, you, sometimes you just have to Quench creatures early. So you can't just play Negate, and you can't really play just Disdainful Strokes. You gotta, gotta use it early. I mean, you do get to discard it later on to Chemister's Insight, which is nice. And it's not terrible, you know, like, there were plenty of times like that, you know, just the last match, turn two, you know, like, we play our second land drop, go, and they have um, Robber the Rich. And, you know, like, we get to we get to counter Robber the Rich immediately. And that really helped us set up and, and stabilize and everything. So it's not terrible. But it's the worst card in the deck, for sure. I don't really have a better suggestion, though. It's kind of just what you got to play for two-mana counter spell, I think. No, Improbable Alliance would not be good in the deck. Um, I could see maybe playing... I mean, yeah, I probably shouldn't add more threes. But I really liked Prison Realm. I kind of want to play all four Prison Realm in the main. Wouldn't mind more Narset. That's the thing. It's like there's other cards that are good that you'd like to add more in, but you just can't add more in. Mystical Dispute, awesome though. Okay, yeah, if Essence Scatter rotated, maybe you could have, like, a, an Essence Scatter or two. But it, it rotated. <clears throat> anyway, uh, that's Just Guy Control. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like, subscribe buttons over there. Also leave comments. I love seeing the comments on YouTube. And please check out the Patreon page if you like my videos and want to help support my content. Uh, it's down below. Uh, you get some written stuff, including uh, why I wrote Why Wizards Moving Up the... BNR announcement to Monday was a mistake. All right. Anyway, that's Just Guy Control. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.